right now let's come back and do one more question ammonia we have already see her seen how it's going to act as a key a complexing agent i also showed you um what how is it acting as a weak base now i'll show you this practical based question so what is this now in the lab you would have uh, done your salt analysis isn't it in your salt analysis you would have, your teacher would have given you different different uh, uh, cations to analyze anions and cations so in cations first important test which you do is test for ammonia isn't it so that test for ammonia as a viva question what did, what did you do you would have taken the uh, you, you would have taken a test tube done <coughs> right in that uh, particular test tube you would have added the sample which is given to you suppose the sample now you're testing for ammonia let us assume so that ammonia and to this ammonia to this sample solution you also added a base koh hope you would have done the same and to this to test ammonia you would have added an agent called nestler's reagent nestler's reagent Yes, now that particular reaction is nothing but mil mil millions base or iodide of million base. Okay, uh, right. Let us write the reaction first. So, what is this? This is basically a confirmatory test for ammonia. This will be useful for your practical viva question. Please remember confirmatory test for ammonia. <clears throat> now, what should you do? First, take the Nestler's reagent. What is Nestler's reagent? K2HGI. Potassium mercuric iodide that is your Nestler's reagent. To this, I am going to add ammonia. Now, remember, I am going to take two moles of this. This is where you have to be careful. Now, what are the products? First important thing the when this react, this is basically is used to detect ammonia. I said done. Along with this, you also should have should add KOH. <clears throat> now, observe carefully how am I writing this NH3 is going to get converted to NH2. How many HGs you have? You have two HGs, isn't it? Write one HG here, write one more HG here. One O from here joins here and the iodine from here joins here. This is called iodide. Iodide of millions base. Millions base. This is the brown PPT which you get. Hope you would have seen chocolate brown PPT which you observed if the if ammonia is present immediately would have got a like this in this precipitate form brown PPT. This brown PPT after observing would have uh, in, like uh, gone to your teacher and have said okay ma'am the cation which I got is ammonia so ammonia is confirmed reported to your teacher. So this brown PPT indicates the presence of ammonium cation. Now this is called iodide of millions base which they have given me. So let us write the leftover product. What else is there? This has got converted. This put, uh, mercury both of there. Co oxygen also is there. Iodine also there. So what else is there? We have potassium iodide and water okay let us balance and see mm, now let's balance this if i have to balance it mm, now this is two here okay this is three four plus three seven potassium seven and water okay done let's see potassium two plus three seven done mercury two done iodine one done i mean okay nitrogen one here hydrogen two plus here uh, we have four four five six okay done and potassium now okay i have balanced the reaction so see observe carefully very important reaction for confirmatory test for ammonia in the lab